Unlike the novice pilot on Humberside, my first time at the controls of a light aircraft took place in broad daylight with an experienced instructor by my side just in case. Nevertheless, getting into the air took every ounce of my concentration. That is now fully forward on the power now, all the way. Yeah, a bit more right pedal. There you go, we'll be all right. Just terrifying. OK, and about now, just ease back. Ease back nice and gently. Ease back, ease back. No, on the control, sorry. I've got it. There you go. And just, if you let go now, just relax, and I'll just take it to the for a second. I mean, I know I was actually controlling it, but I didn't feel in control of any of that, really. You got us off the ground, we stayed on the runway, didn't we? Once we were flying level, it was time to manoeuvre for my first attempt at a landing. Just lower the nose a little bit. I feel like I'm zigzagging a lot now. You are, but you're doing really well. Remember on Humberside, all this was happening in the dark with an unconscious instructor in the cockpit. There's an awful lot to think about. Landing is the most difficult bit. I didn't manage to get us down, so my instructor David Phillips had to take over. My second fly past was better, though no less tense and frightening. At the moment I'm two miles away from the runway. Yeah. I'm flying at about 70, 75 miles an hour. Yeah. And I'm at an altitude of 1,300 feet. 1, feet. And I've got to get all of that down to an altitude of effectively nothing. Yeah. No miles an hour. Yeah. Okay, so I can now actually this time, I almost right managed it. But all I want you to do is point at that runway. With David only having to put us down from a few feet above the runway. Uh, nice and gentle now, not, no real input. Uh, nice and gentle, just lower the nose a little bit. Lower it, lower it. Okay, now put the horizon where we had it earlier on today. And just hold that. I'll just help you out here a bit. Okay, nice and relaxed, that's alright. Oh, okay. we're down. You sit and relax, I'll stop the aeroplane. I managed to get it down, but with more than a little help from my tutor here, but it was absolutely terrifying. I felt like I was fighting the aeroplane, trying to get it to go in line, okay. first of all, and then come down onto the runway. But between us, we managed it. And just imagine what was going through the pilot of the plane at Humberside when he was having to do that on his own, with somebody sitting beside them that was unconscious, and we now know, unfortunately, died.